Hi, welcome to Lesson with John. Now we're going to try Moon Dance on the Oop today. Okay, that's your intro. Uh, a minor 7. I'm going to hit all the strings open. It's not a trick. They're all just open. That's my A minor 7. Then I'm going to bar the whole second fret. That's my B minor 7. Okay? And you're going to do that four times in a row. So if this is one, you just do that four times in a row. You got your intro. So my strum pattern for my A minor 7, I'm just going to hit it down. And then my B minor 7, I'm going to go down, up, down, up. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down. Down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so that's your intro. The verse is exactly the same, except you play it 16 times in a row. And no, I'm not going to play it six times, 16 times in a row. But that's your verse um, when the song starts, uh, when you start singing. That's it. All right, now... Let's see, what will we do for this next part? Um, this is the pre-chorus. That's your pre-chorus. That's the, um, I don't remember what that part is. It'll come to me in a moment. So what we need is a D minor seven. And that's our strum pattern, down, 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 up, on that chord. So it changes. Uh, second string, first fret, fourth string, and third string at the second fret. I'm going to put my pinky on the first string, third fret. That's my D minor 7. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up. Then I'm going to go to my A minor 7, which again is all open, and my strum is going to be down, 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 up, down. So you put those two things together, like... You play it three times in a row. And then we're going to play a D minor 7. We're going to pause for a second. These are like quarter note triplets, so it's like a rest. All downs. Down, down, down. Then we're going to go to an E7 chord. Down, down, down. And they're all downstrokes. Uh, the band is actually playing an E7 sharp 9. I couldn't figure out a way to play that on the oop that really made it sound cool. So I'm just doing an E7 chord. So sorry. Uh, fourth string, first fret. Third string, second fret. And first string, second fret. The second string is open. And again, it's quarter note triplets. And the first quarter note is, is a quarter rest, actually. So it's like... You'll know. You listen to the song. Those of you that know it well uh, know what I'm talking about. Just it, just do it by feel. You don't have to know about the quarter note triplets. You just have to feel it. So that's the pre-chorus. Uh, you know the night's magic seems to whisper and hus. I think that's the part. So I'll play it again. D minor seven. D minor seven. D minor seven. D minor seven. So that's that part. Now you go into the chorus of the song, Can I Just Have One More Moon Dance With You, My Love? That part. So this part, we don't need any new chords for this part, but our strum pattern is going to be a little different. Um, our A minor 7, and I'm going to stop the sound. So I'm going to strum it once, kind of slap the, the ook. Oh, sorry. played it two different ways. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but I did it anyway. Uh, I don't always stick to the strum pattern, but um, I try to just give you one so you, you know it's not too confusing and stuff. But you don't have to stick right to the strum pattern. It can be different. It's not like, this isn't exactly, you know, you could do it differently. So, uh, my A minor 7, I hit it down, and then I stopped the sound. When I went to the D minor 7, I was supposed to go up, up, down, up, and I did most of the time. 
but not once. One time I did do a, a down first, so. So you go down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. And you do that seven times in a row. So A minor seven, and then D minor seven. Down on an A minor seven, and then the E seven. You hit it, and that one gets like three beats, so it's longer. Okay, and uh, that's your chorus. That's the night's magic seems to whisper and hush and all that stuff. I think, or did was that the? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't look to me for the lyrics. All right. So at this point, let's give you the form of the song because you got you're almost done. There's only the outro left. So uh, what we got? We got that intro four times. Then you got a verse, which is sixteen times in a row. And then you got your pre-chorus, followed by a chorus. Then they go back, they got another verse, another pre-chorus, another chorus. And then they have the solo. This is where, like, I think a saxophone, maybe a piano, um, a bunch of different instruments taking solos. Now, what you do is the rhythm player, if you're playing with, you know, say you're playing with them, or uh, uh, you have a whole band or something like that, and you want to emulate what they're doing, um, you do the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, you play all of those chords just the way they are, and that's what they do for the solo. So that's what's behind the solo, is the verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, right in a row. So that's a big, long solo. All right, and then they go back, they do another verse, another pre-chorus, another chorus with words and all that stuff. And then you got your outro, which is just A minor 7 to the B minor 7. Okay, and it's 12 times in a row. And so it's just like the intro and the verse, except it's 12 times. And then on the 13th time, you go A minor 7 to G to F to E minor to D minor, and then A minor 9. Okay? So let's go over that. So again, the outro is A minor 7 to B minor 7 12 times. So. just like you were doing before. And then on the 13th time, you uh, can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love. So that's the ending of the song, right? So that's an A minor seven to a G, to an F, to an E minor, to a D minor, and then A minor nine. So let's go over those chords. A G chord is the third string and first string, second fret, second string, third fret. So it's A minor 7, it's all open, then the G, then you go to an F chord, which is the 2nd string 1st fret, 4th string 2nd fret, then you got an E minor, 1st uh, string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret, 4th uh, string 4th fret, open 4th string, that's an E minor, then the D minor is the 2nd string 1st fret, the 4th and 3rd string at the 2nd fret, and then the A minor 9, I came up with was uh, first string second fret and everybody else is open. Okay, so what is that? Let's see. We got a. Uh, that's your ninth. This is your fifth of the chord. This is your your minor third, and then the minor seventh. So you've got everything you really need. The only thing you don't have is the root of the chord because an A minor nine is A C E G and then a B on top. So you got, I don't have an A in there, so I'm missing the root, but the third is there, and the flat seven, those are the two most important notes in any chord, in any minor seventh or any seventh chord. Anyway. Uh, the third is the most important. You got the fifth. That one's expendable, but it's there. And then uh, the root and the fifth are always expendable when you're dealing with uh, chords and stuff, believe it or not. And then here's the ninth, which makes it a cool sound on top. It's also a C major 7, so don't get confused. There's more than one name for all these chords. All right, that's Moondance. Uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Oh, and hit like. Nobody hits like. Why don't you hit like? If you like it, like it. If you don't like it, thumbs down. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and play more Ook.